If you're looking for a budget-friendly and weight-friendly recipe, I've got a perfect one for you today. Hi, Debbie Chu here from Chu on Vegan, and welcome back to my kitchen. If you're new here, I'm a plant-based RN, and I follow the Stark Solution, which is a low-calorie density way of eating, eating whole foods, plant-based, no oil. And on my channel, you're gonna find quick and easy recipes that'll help you lose weight and help you on your health journey. So if that sounds good to you, please subscribe, follow me on Instagram. I also have a newsletter and I also have a Facebook group if you feel like you need some more support. All the links will be in the description box below. So today I'm gonna to be showing you kind of a deconstructive, no chicken pot pie. So I guess it's a veggie pot pie. It's not only weight loss friendly, but it's budget friendly. This recipe comes in under 200 calories per serving. Now we don't count calories on the starch solution, but it's a good idea to have a basic knowledge of how many calories are in the foods you eat. Now non-starchy vegetables are the lowest of them all, about 100 calories per pound. And then it goes all the way up to oil, which is 4,000 calories per pound. And we try to eat foods that are under 600 calories per pound. And this recipe fits the bill. As far as budget-friendly meals, this recipe comes in at about $1.10 per serving. I'm not counting spices, but with everything else, it's about $1.10 per serving. This recipe should serve six. Even if you did four servings, it's still gonna be a great weight loss and budget-friendly meal. So let's get started. So first, I just wanna show you the ingredients that we're gonna be using. I have two 12-ounce bags of frozen mixed vegetables. Can't get any easier than that. I've got some poultry seasoning, onion powder, garlic powder. I've got a can of white beans, a can of corn, and then I have about three slices of gluten-free bread that I've cubed up. And then I've got about one and a half cups of water. I used the water from the corn, and that, which was about a half a cup, and then I just added a cup of water. Now I'm not adding any salt to this. I'm also adding a cube and a half of not chicken bouillon. I've got one of the low sodium, which is the, the full cube, and then a half a cube of the regular. Now, if you are watching your salt, just use the low sodium, just one and a half cubes. And then the corn, of course, had some um, salt in it, so that's gonna be in the corn water here. But I rinsed the beans, they were low sodium to start with, and then the bread, of course, is gonna have a little bit of salt. But this is basically, um, a lower sodium recipe. So the first thing I'm going to do is just add the vegetables to the bowl. We're just going to set this aside and then I'm going to make the sauce that's going to go over all these veggies and make it like a pot pie kind of a feel. So we're going to add our beans corn, our bouillon, and our water. And we're just gonna blend this until it's smooth. And this is going to create a really thick, creamy, delicious sauce that's gonna go over those veggies. So I'm gonna go blend this up, I'll be right back. And you can see what a creamy sauce this makes. So we're gonna add this all into our veggies. We're going to add our spices and we're going to give this a good stir. So we've got it all mixed up. Now we're going to add in our bread and get that stirred around. Now we're gonna pour it all into a 13 by nine inch pan. We're gonna cover it with foil. I've got my oven preheated to 350 degrees and it will cook for about 30 minutes. Then I'm gonna take the foil off and let it cook for about another 10 minutes. And I may even broil it for about five. This is a really, easy way to feed your family and and it's such a bargain price. 
Okay, in the oven it goes. So while that is cooking, I want to talk to you about some other money saving tips. This is something that my husband and I do every January and it's kind of fun. And I, this isn't an original idea. I didn't come up with this, but it's no spend January. So what that means is that you're going to really limit what you spend for luxury items. You're just going to spend money on the basics. Of course, you know, like your house payment or your rent, your food, your electricity, things like that. And we will also be eating out of our pantry. So we'll be doing a lot of things, a lot of frozen items, canned beans, things like that. And we're going to try to keep our budget for our grocery $75 a week. And that's for the two of us. And that should be actually pretty easy considering we have a lot of food in our pantry, a lot of food in our freezer. And it's a great way to kind of kick off the year and start saving some money. And it really makes you aware of how much money we spend on things that we don't even really need. So just do the necessities, eat out of your pantry, your freezer, and it's kind of fun, you know, to see what you can come up with. And maybe all the meals aren't going to be like stellar out of this world, but you know what? They're going to be tasty. They're going to be healthy. And I'm going to be doing a few recipes on my channel here to show you how you can throw things together from your pantry. And this recipe today is one of them. So I really encourage you to try this, even if you only do it for a week. And it doesn't have to be in January. It can be whatever month you're watching this, you can do it that month. And give it a try and you'll see it's kind of fun. You get creative and get the family involved. And also look for those sales, like the vegetables, that the frozen vegetables, those were 99 cents a bag and that was at Aldi's. But if you really shop the bargains and then fill up your freezer with those things and you've got them handy and you can just whip something together really easy. So don't be afraid to be creative. Just trust yourself. You can throw things together. I mean, I always use garlic powder, onion powder, smoked paprika. You know, you can always throw an onion into something to give it more flavor. It doesn't have to be complicated or some fancy recipe. Okay, next time you see me, we'll have our deconstructed veggie pot pie all ready. So it just popped out of the oven, was covered for 30 minutes, cooked uncovered for 10, and then I broiled it for about five to seven. I think it was at seven minutes. So the bread got nice and toasty. I'm just gonna let this cool for about five minutes and then we're gonna give it a taste. So here we go, finished product, and this looks so good. I would, you know, I'm gonna serve this with salad. I eat my salad first, then I eat this as my main course. And, but of course, this is perfect just the way it is. Um, this is definitely low fat. There's about one and a half grams of fat per serving. I mean, that's pretty low. It's high carb, low fat, delicious. Let's give it a taste. And I want to get some of that bread in there. So good. It definitely has that mouth feel like a pot pie. And it's got all those flavors in there that you love. This is so perfect for these cooler months that you'll want to keep this in your rotation. Mmm. And the bread soaked up all that sauce. So good. I will leave the full recipe down below and I will also leave the breakdown of the calories and the price. So that way you can see for yourself what a great deal this is, great way to feed your family. And try the no spend January or whatever month you're watching this and just eat out of your pantry, eat out of your freezer, pick a dollar amount for your grocery budget and then stick to it and get creative with the foods that you already have in your house and remember to make things low fat, high carb. If you've made it this far in the video, please comment below with budget meals and that way I know you made it to the end with me and I really appreciate it. All my recipes are good for you, they're good for the animals and they're good for the planet and what you put on your plate determines your fate. Until next time, thank you. Hi, Debbie. <coughs> oh, oven's preheated. So I'm gonna cover the. I'm gonna to say that again because I just said it. Okay, let's check out our dip. No. All right, we'll just fit. 
So enough of that, and we will just let our 